But if you look at our mall there, man, I discussed it with, my, with Robbie before the time. That shift mall Beautiful. in the other game, or the other option, Marco will come around, the guy standing as receiver there. And, and in this case, they, he joined in and they, the shift was just beautiful. They're all spine in line. They're all pumping legs. They, and it happens quickly. Mm. You don't often in a mall, Robbie. It's about first ready, first in. If you settle and they form the umbrella, they sort of can stop you. But if you set and before you can say, what is that word we always say, Honolulu or Mississippi, uh, before you can say that they're gone. So before the defense wonder, are they coming around or are they playing through us? And that's what I love. That try we scored against Australia coming blind. Mm -hmm. Superb. Now, again, there, Marco stands there. It looks like he's going to be more or less the same move. He's got the defense oh, checking there because Bongi is throwing the ball in and they look they, like they're going to attack the blind. Now, from this moment, you'll see there's suddenly two guys on the far side. They're sleeping. They don't know if they must stand out or in. And the guy on the blind... He's, he's, he's telling his mate, i got to stop it. And uh, just as he hit in, that Aussie guy, they played around him. So that is what you call for young coaches, a brilliant shift drive. You really? That could be a penalty as well, depending on no, who's no, refereeing the game. No, sir. No, yes, no, sir. No, uh, Robbie, I discussed it with Robbie earlier. That's all legal. That's all under the laws. Kitsov uh, did his job the, the there. The key is Kitsov yeah, released his bond. He was, yeah. He's a very clever player. Yeah, he's not just one of the best loose heads in the world. Mm. Props are intelligent as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't feel he was impeding the ball carrier? didn't make contact with no, the Australians no. first? For me, the lifters were not blocking. Mackie, yeah. we, we sp spoke about it. All, all legal as far as I'm yeah. concerned in that thing. What I did love is the deception. We didn't know it's a back peel, is it a front peel? And now suddenly that good shift drive, 10 out of 10. Oh. And that's like, like Robbie said. Gentlemen, it. wait. <laughs> you saying to me, most refs, all refs, there's no possibility they could blow that for obstruction. TMOs can. Yeah. Oh. There would be. <laughs> okay. There, 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 <laughs> That's there what would, I'm saying. So. There would be a possibility if, if. Kitsch have stayed in, in his lane. But what he did, he was smart enough. He absorbed and he let that whole momentum go past him. If he had to stay in front, I think then maybe we would have been penalised. He wasn't only any defender. Yeah. He was, he was just, they, were, they pivot around so him. I'm, 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 so when you set up a mall, correct me if I'm wrong here, Kemper, if you're going to shift, your first contact should be with the ball carrier, correct? Should be still holding the ball, yeah. He's got it there. So he's got it now. And the contact took place. So they're all... Kitsov is good. Everyone's good. Yeah. It will roll on just now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Come on, gentlemen. So Kitsov gets out the way. So yeah. him, as a Thank offender, you. potential mm. offender, is completely out of the system. Yeah. And the, the guy engages, the ball's in the front. I agree, And then get it to the back. Yeah. Kitsov makes face contact with the opposition. Nope. It's a split okay. second. Yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying, there's a possibility. We're not, we're not yes, talking I, about I, it. I, so I, my I, question I, about I, that not is... The TMO. A week later, <laughs> we didn't have this dominance in our driving. You see Marco van Staden scores the try. So he's in possession of the ball at all times. It's not shifted back. No, so there's no, no obstruction. No. Sure. No, no, it's not about no. shifting back. So I'm saying, no. when he peeled, he's going to make first contact. And I felt that Kitsov seemed to be in the way of the first defender. That's why, hence, I said, some refs will blow that. Yeah. That's wanna, the reality of it. You want to call to Eddie, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> some refs will blow that. That's the reality. Uh, A week later, not so much dominance. But that's where the TMO comes in. I think the fact that Marco still had the ball makes it fairly obvious that there was no... Obstruction. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's have a look at the scrums. Kempo, you, you guys, Swiss, you happy with the way we're scrumming? We get our penalties, but against New Zealand, mm. yeah, look, it wasn't clear. For starters, Robbie, help me, Amaki. I don't think this, the, this Argentinian tight five is going to be the saving grace. That's a weakness for me. As far, they've got two good hookers, mm. but they've got loose cannon uh, second rowers. And their props are not really up there. There's the one with the baby they, face. I don't they, know his they're name. They're young or they're very they're old. They're young yeah. or they're very old. So that's not a very... Compared to the Springbok type five, man, oh, you can't compare it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, but looking at our scrum, if you look at Vincent Koch on the tight head side and, 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 and Robbie, you, you're the Springbok, loose and tight head. For me, I always speak about the 90 degree going into 110 degrees on the angles. You can go through it with, for the view now, exactly what I'm trying to explain there. But the way they set and they explode as one man, that is fantastic. And that's for me, coming back, one of the strengths of our side. Mm -hmm. That scrum, that in our half, scrum into penalties, man, if you can. 
kick it out so that we can play off that mall. And that is what we do so well. So have a look there. There for me, it was a 90 degrees from the knees to the calves, from the hips. On the tight head side now, we'll draw the arrows there. And Robbie, if you can take us through there, maybe. From there, that explosion, that's a spring box scrum. Spine and, spines are good. The bind is good. Chins are up. That's a massive power scrum. Mm -hmm. That's the collective as well, the back mm -hmm. five. Putting the effort in, Quacker's still down, mm -hmm. grafting hard. I think particularly with sides like Australia, New Zealand to a lesser extent, because they've fixed their, their tight five woes, and they've got Whitelock coming back as well for, for Eddie this weekend, who's mm -hmm. going to win apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but guys like Mark Herbert, you, you're scrumming against him for a good 50-odd minutes. Yeah. By the time the next oak comes on, you kaput, uh, you are out of it. Yeah. There's, and then you see the next scrum come, and the front row, slightly different, slightly different in the way they, they, they engineer the go forward. Um, you're under a lot of pressure as an opposition. It doesn't matter who you've got on the bench and bring them on. Our fresh legs and the bomb squad works its trick in view of the fact that our first tight five mm. puts so much graft in to soften them up. Yeah, our biggest challenge, I think, is, is hoping and praying that we can actually get a ref that's consistent in the way he applies the laws at the, at, at the scrums. If we look at the, the New Zealand match, uh, De Groot, you know, where he actually went in on his knees, mm. got away with it. I think our biggest challenge, and I'm hoping uh, somewhere along the line, uh, you know, Rossi makes maybe a little bit of a shorter video, to, uh, just about <laughs> our scrums, just about our scrums, to tell us right, that we need to actually get a ref that understands what's happening in front there. Because if, it, if the ref gets it wrong, you know, we, we start becoming despondent. Uh, we don't get that, you know, that dominance. We don't get uh, to get the, you know, second bite of the cherry. So for me, I think that's, that's going to be a key, key factor Should if we actually do... Um, you know, want to maintain the, the scrum. And, and I know we want to. I know we want to, but I think the, the referee is always, always going to be a key, a key factor. Fully agree with you. Should we not maybe have a different approach? Empower players to realise when that's happening and find a way to adapt. Because at times, you know, for, for South Africans again to go through, and, and I know, I mean, I, you know my feelings, what I thought of the ref against New Zealand. Mm. You know, hindsight now, we're all a bit smarter. Maybe we should just find a way of making sure that the box on the park, when these are the red flags, when the ref doesn't go your way, this is our default. We go to this to be able to get stuff. I know it's hard. Yeah, and the problem there is so that, that scrum that he gave, he went to ground yeah. and he blew my herber. So in that moment, and this is going back to my day when we had Mark yeah. Lawrence and co-refereeing, you know, you stand up, you want to chat to the ref, he's going, get, get mm -hmm. out of my space, yo, champ. Chat yeah. to me later. So... What we always did is, as soon as the penalty is given, you walk away, you make no comment, but the next line out you go in, but you know, what about his knee on the ground or what about his bind? Yep. And I'm sure then, these guys do it anyway. Yeah, but Owen, <laughs> Just to, should we not then if, feel hard done and we make a call, one of the guys goes down injured? Exactly. Then buys us time for the captain to engage with the referee. A referee, even bring the assistant referee. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it is, the solution. <laughs> the, Just a the, default, because no, it happens. And, and, and it does happen. It does happen. However, I still feel that if the referee's interpretation of what's happening in front of him is not according to the, what, the picture, that, then it's always whether you speak to him or you... Because, you know, mm. what's happening, you know, right in front of him in, in, in real time is actually such a, a challenge for the referee, firstly. And secondly... It's his interpretation of actually what's happening. And, 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 and so... And you, he feels like you're questioning his... Exactly. Decision. And it doesn't... Uh, and, and, for example, that's come with uh, Malayaba and, and De Groot. We were under attack there. Yeah. So that takes an opportunity away where we can actually apply more pressure. Now, we need to go... We're going back 40, 50 metres backfield. We're under pressure again. So, for me, that... It's, it's, it's key. It's key that the referees actually get it, get it spot on. We're under pressure. I'm under pressure. <laughs>